It's our big story at 10. Green Bay police charged five people in connection with a heroin death. Three people are facing charges tonight in the death of 26 year old Matthew O'Day on February 25th of this year. Two others face drug delivery charges related to that case. NBC 26's DeAndre Corinthios is live in the newsroom with more on how police plan to crack down on the problem. Casey, Green Bay police tell me they know heroin is a problem in the community, and that's why they're in the preliminary stages of forming a task force to fight the problem made up of other law enforcement agencies and private entities like hospitals. This is the apartment complex at 111 South Platten Street, where Green Bay police say Matthew O'Day overdosed. His live-in girlfriend, Rachel Bartell, is the one who called police. Green Bay police say this is the second heroin overdose death in Brown County this year. Last year, there were 12. It's alarming because heroin a couple years ago wasn't as prevalent as it is today. Lieutenant Kevin Warwick with the Green Bay PD says it appears there's been an influx of heroin into Green Bay since last year. That's the reasons why we're in the pre-planning stages to developing this task force to curb this from uh, reoccurring error from growing. Leaders at Libertas Treatment Center in Green Bay say a necessary step to stop the heroin problem is getting addicts the help they need. People can recover from substance abuse and they, if they, they need the support, they need the support of their family, their friends, um, and sometimes professional help. Police say as the task force is formed, they'll remain vigilant. We have officers in the, in the streets looking for any possible violations and trying to get these people uh, off the streets to make the community that much safer. Now, Green Bay police stress that because the task force is in its very pre-planning stages, there's no specific timeline for when we can expect it to be formed. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Deandra Corinthios, NBC 26.